you know what I realized? We didn't even talk about how I switched from tennis to soccer. You know what we did? No, because we're having a yeah. great conversation. That you know when you have great conversations, <laughs> you lose you lose a little bit of you lose a little bit of what you wanted to talk about originally. But right. yeah, okay, we can. Hey, this is our show. We we listen. This is our show. <laughs> we're not yeah. any producers telling us, oh, you can't talk about that or this. That's that. right. Yeah, I'd like to know transition. I think I find it fascinating because it falls into, uh, and I think you can probably agree with this. It falls into a category that I totally just made up, but. I call it kind of, you talked about branding or rebranding. We often talk to athletes about the idea of rebranding who they are and what they're doing currently, maybe in their sport at a certain position. It may mean that you might have to look at a different position if you're going to actually end up being recruited to this school in this program. Here you go, you go, you're already in, and you completely flip the script and go from tennis to soccer. You didn't play soccer in high school. No. No. Oh my God. Talk. So, you got to tell us. About <laughs> so I, um, I went my freshman year, like I said, and I, okay. you know, I, I gave some info as far as like my experience with my college coach. I went through my okay. freshman year and there were other, a lot of instances as far as just like lying and situations that I was okay. basically miserable. I was like coming home crying almost every day. But my one thing was I didn't want to quit mid season. I was like, I'm going to give it the year. Maybe something yeah. will change. And if it doesn't, then, then I'm done. But I didn't want to do that to my teammates or anything else. So I went my whole freshman year. We won our league championship. And then we made it to the second round of NCAAs. Um, okay. And then I decided to quit over the summer. And I knew I was like bound to determine. I was like, I'm going to still be a college athlete. I'm not not playing a sport while yeah. I'm at school because I love sports. So in my mind, I was like, I'm okay. going to try soccer first. If I don't make soccer, I'm going to try out for volleyball. If I don't do that, I'm going to do softball. And <laughs> that was my process of where I was going. So yeah. I went to the coach, the soccer coach, and I said, hey, I'm going to be quitting the tennis team. I have to tell him. But I was just wondering if I want to try out for soccer, what's the process like? She was like, please go talk to your coach first. So I talked to him, went back to her, and she was like, okay. Now that you're done, um, this is what we're gonna do. I have the the camp like that the high schoolers go to. They run a camp every summer. Mm-hmm. Come to the camp. That'll be like an informal try or like a tryout for you over the summer. Mm-hmm. You, you know the recruiting camps that all the different colleges. Oh yeah. Do? yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So I so went. So you to had that. to go to that. Okay. With yeah. the high school kids. Oh wow. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I had to put my pride aside. <laughs> you know. Got, Big time. Got, yeah. Do, do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta yeah. do. So I went yeah. to the camp. Um, but previous to that, I mean, I was just trying to get as many touches on a ball every single day. I was trying to learn okay. what to play, how, how to really play. I played growing up, but like, you know, it's, it's a different level now. Right. Sure. So I was just trying to work as hard as possible for that camp, got to the camp. She was like, okay, come back for preseason. We'll see what's up during preseason. Cause you have, you know, some, some things that you need to work on. Um, <laughs> luckily for me, I was just super fast. So she was like, okay, I can use speed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Speed can all, yeah, speed is a neutralizer. <laughs> you can use it in all kinds of ways. I think, I mean, exactly. Oh God, you, exactly. you were in camp with kids, these kids, these high school kids, you know, these guys, you know, how these high school kids are, they're playing, they're playing travel yeah. soccer and, and club soccer, right? A lot of yeah. these kids are or were, and then they were trying out, and you're with them. So you're, you're going up against some pretty good competition, right? Yeah. In that, yeah. In that so, summer period? Okay. Yep. And then I, you know, joined a team at the time I was uh, living in Connecticut at home because it's where my parents are from. So I joined a okay. team there, and I was awful. Like, when I say awful, I was awful. Like, I just <laughs> was so bad. And I had tennis footwork because tennis and soccer footwork are very different. So yes. like our assistant coach at the time would call me like twinkle toes and stuff all the time. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, I worked really hard. I passed the fitness testing. I, and my coach just was, you know, took a chance on me, which to this day I appreciate so much. Um, okay. And she basically said, well, we'll take you on the team. And I went from playing two games my sophomore year to playing 16 or 17 games my senior year. So I had a huge period of time where, I sacrificed a lot. I worked really hard. Like I, I always wanted to study abroad. And at that time I was like, I'd rather be on the soccer team, be with my teammates, work really hard yeah. to play more because I'm still competitive. Yeah. Right. I don't want to not play. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no so, doubt. We'd see that. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was a huge transition, but honestly, best decision I ever made. I was so happy. I loved my teammates. My coach and I are still very close. Um, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, it was just for me, it worked. And that's not going to be the case for a lot of people. But 
you know, that that's why I'm so important on, I, I didn't, I thought about transferring. I really thought about transferring, but I right. loved Skidmore College so much. It was just such right. a great fit for me. I had the major that I wanted. I was a business major. It had everything that I, I really wanted. It was just this one thing that really derailed my life that I wasn't expecting. Sure. And, you know, sure. it got to the point where I was just like, I'll just try out for a different team. I don't want to, I don't want to go through the transfer process because I love yeah. it here. Yeah, you, you, you really speak to, uh, I think, the, the core and the essence of what, you know, the so-called process is all about, the idea of looking at a school, determining how that school fits you, uh, the social dynamics of the school. Certainly, you were there to, to compete and, and, and play athletics, and athletics, you love it. You can tell. I can see how competitive you are. I can tell it in your demeanor. So you want to hold on to that, but mm -hmm. what you did was you, you, you looked at the entire process where you fit, how that resonated with you through the years, your major, how that was, and obviously what you did there at Skidmore being a very, very good place for business. Look at you now, okay? And, mm -hmm. and look at the transition and look at what it prepared you for. And you, you took it.